Hello everybody. At this point we're starting Unit 6 in our uh, GDP program and within this unit you're going to be using Microsoft Word to pr produce documents. Now in GDP in Lesson 26 you're going to be doing your first document which is um, 26-3. So what you want to do is come in and find um, the correspondence for 26-3. Um, you're going to click on that and you're going to see this information pop up. Now in this case you should be um, able to submit your work after you're done with it. So what I want to do is I want to go in and um, now when you're doing this for the first time your edit work will not show up. You're going to see um, start work. So I'm going to click on start work and what that's going to do is going to give me a chance to um, open and download a file. So what I'm recommending is that you save the file to your computer and then open it, work on it, and then save it again. So what I'm going to do, because I'm in Firefox right now, it's going to save it down to the, um, down, oh, the downloads folder. If you use Internet Explorer or um, Chrome, then you will actually get to select your folder that you're going to. So right now I'm just going to save this Okay, and I can see that it saved the document into um, uh, as GDP 11, and it has the 26-3. Now yours should say should not have the two at the end of it. So um, I'm going to open this up and just double click on it. You could also go to your file and open in Word and open it that way. Okay. Now one of the things you will notice is that this document is blank. It is already set up with the margins that you need and it already has um, the spacing set for this document. So what you're going to do is then you're going to refer to page 90 in your book and uh, let me bring that up and on top of page 90 it tells you what the rules are for setting up a business letter in block style and the first thing it says is to press center five times which will give you that two inch margin from the top of the page so the way that that's going to look in the document is you'll see um, five times at the top of the document it means you hit enter five times then you're going to put in today or the date and you're going to use the January 27th and then you're going to hit enter four times alright and that will get you in position to um, do the opening um, for the um, address opening address and then each time you, you see like two times two times that means that's how many times you hit enter to get to the next spot in the document now the big thing is make sure that you're using the document that you download from GDP you do not want to take a blank document just a brand new one from Word. You've got to use the downloaded document. A couple of reasons. You have a code that's in the background of that document that identifies you as the user. If you try to upload a document that was used by somebody else or downloaded on somebody else's computer, then um, you will get an error message to say that basically you're cheating and that you're using somebody else's documents. All right. Now also, when you go in to um, work with um, these documents. Make sure that the number on the correspondence matches up with the document that you downloaded and it's the document that you're supposed to be doing. You're only doing a certain number of documents per lesson. So make sure that this matches up with the document that you're supposed to be doing from the exercises. Okay. Now once you've completed that document you're going to save it and then what you're going to do is go back into GDP to that exact same letter that you downloaded and you're going to go into browse and you're going to locate that file wherever you saved it. Now if I had downloaded it on um, from Firefox I can see that that file is in my downloads folder so I would double click on that Okay. and then that file name will show up in light gray next to browse and then I will submit my work. Now once I submit my work you will be able to go back into um, my GDP. You will get a message when you submit it that says the, the instructor has to grade it but I don't. What you can do is go into my GDP and then um, 
I don't have any, I didn't up, actually upload it, but you would go to the actual document, you would hit the down arrow, and it would tell you how many errors that you had. Now, if it's saying that the entire document's wrong, you either submitted the wrong one, or you didn't sum, do the right typing to go along with it, so it's very important to make sure that you submitted the right work. Okay, so that's how you're going to go in and do the first document. Okay, once you do the first one, hopefully you'll get used to it. You can always come back and watch these recordings. Okay, and then you'll be ready to go back in and start on the next um, document in the series. Okay, now like I said, you're only doing specific documents. So I know you don't do 26.4 or 26.5. I think the next one is in 27. 27 6 so don't do all the documents unless you want practice but I just want you to realize that you know you've got to refer to the book you've got to download the file use that file to do the document save it and then upload that document you've got to make sure you save it before you try to upload it if you try to upload it without saving the document you're just uploading a blank one and that's why you're gonna end up with a whole bunch of errors so hopefully this will get you started in this unit